huge. And a lot of, there's a buzz on the internet about the superdelegates being reported. Do you think it's fair f to, for MSNBC and others to be showing the superdelegate count at, and not showing just the straight count? Well, this is an important opportunity for me to clarify the difference between pledged delegates and unpledged delegates. In Iowa and New Hampshire and every primary and caucus, the only thing a candidate earns is the pledged delegate. Those unpledged delegates, those are party leaders and elected officials who really are there so that we can just deem them as delegates and they don't have to run against our activists. We prioritize an, at the Democratic Party diversity, broad diversity that is represented at our convention. And if you have an activist who has to run against a member of Congress or a state party chair to get to be a delegate, that, that's, that's going to kind of be an obstacle in their path that we want to clear away for them. So when remember the NBC also remember the unpledged delegates can change their mind at any I mean. time. It's, so it's showing you know, 400 and something delegates to 40 for Bernie or something like that. You know, it, and it's I can't control the stuff that the media wants to highlight. I can tell you as the national party chair that the caucus and primary system is a fight for pledged delegates and. The unpledged delegates really are there so that we can make sure that we have an opportunity to have the most diverse convention possible. So just to be clear, in pl pledged delegates, Bernie's ahead right now, right? Because of I, the, to be quite honest with you, margin. I don't even know who has more pledged delegates because I'm just focused on trying to make sure we can manage the primary nominating contest and also get our party ready to support our nominee. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.